the clover's just in bloom. A cheerful bird song woke me up and chased me right out of my room. Sunshine beams through the leaves and branches, and the pines stand tall and proud. Dandelions dazzle and the nectar flows, and tiny boars critters shout out loud. The grass is green, the sky is blue, the brook is bound with friends, and so are you. We'll see that day for endless play. Picnic and party, that's our woodland way. Danger works, which will be fine. Detective Bramble, Part 2 My honey jar, my honey jar, it's not here! Ah! Oh, let me check here. Oh, where has it gone to? <laughs> my sweet honey! Hey Bramble, why so sad? We can get you some more, okay? <laughs> Something's wrong here. Briar, we're the only ones who knew where that jar was. Uh, well, uh... <clears throat> Briar, uh, was it you? Easy, let's not get mad. But, uh... I hid the honey, so that you would have a case to solve. I can show you right where I put it. Uh? Look, I left it right here. I'm as surprised as you are. Somebody must have stole it. Why would they do that? I can't believe it. Oh, man. Huh? Bro, I'll solve this mystery. Bramble, how in the world did you change clothes so quickly? A detective never reveals his skills. That's what makes us the best at solving crimes in the most secretive way possible. Call me Detective Bramble. Welcome back, Detective Bramble. From the tracks left here, I can tell it was dug up with professional tools. <laughs> ah, look, and these, there's only one thing they could be. These are human footprints. Human? Mm-hmm. Huh? I got it! There's only one human I know who uh -huh. lives in this forest. Huh? So that makes it pretty obvious who stole my honey jar. Logger fish! Oh, I wonder what that could be. Logger Vic! Open up! Open the door! Logger Vic! Coming. Open the door! Keep your pants on! Open the door, Logger Vic! What are you doing here this early? Huh? Huh? What are you two doing? I didn't invite you. Just give huh? it to me, okay? I'm sorry? Give you what? Huh. You know what? Hey, hey, huh? Bramble. Remember, oh. you're a detective. Oh. Be cool. I'll go check inside his room. <clears throat> Here's the thing, Vic. One of our honey jars has gone missing. And I think it was you who stole it. Huh? Honey? What would I want with your honey? Oh, Vic, don't get mad. We saw human footprints at the crime scene. And so, we just want to take a little look. You bears are gonna pay if you don't find anything. <laughs> I'm very confident about my skills. <laughs> Bramble, I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find it. Uh, 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 you stinking uh, bears, get out of here right now! I'm good it, bro. If Flogger Vic didn't take it, then who else could it be? I can't stand it! Come on, bro, just relax. <laughs> I'm thinking, there must be some more clues. Uh, oh? huh? Briar, look! Look at those small holes! Huh? Let me see. Huh? I don't remember seeing those before. This must have happened today. Oh? Then I bet it was the thief who made them. Let me think. Oh yeah, I know who did it! Huh? <laughs> what do you guys want? Herbert, you stole our honey jar, didn't you? Yeah, no, 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 no. I promise it wasn't me. Tell the truth. Don't make us use another Whoa. method. Easy, bro. There's no need for all of that. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it wasn't me! I'm telling the truth! <laughs> oh, really? <sighs> uh. Alright, bro. 
Zero, stop. It's not worth it. If he had taken it, he'd have told us. I don't know who took the honey jar, but I did see something strange last night. Oh, really? <laughs> I hmm. apologize for the tickling. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Herbert, <laughs> won't you forgive me? <laughs> and please, tell me who stole my honey jar. Just tell him. He's really eager to solve this case. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, listen carefully. <clears throat> Last night, I was burrowing underground to repair my house, you know, add some rooms, whatever. I was going about my business, when suddenly, I heard someone digging nearby. And so, I went to check who it was. And do you know who it was? Tell, Tell us! It was you! <laughs> what? What'd I do? <sighs> yeah, you're right. When you saw me, I was burying it. Oh, brr, your digging skills, they're not really professional. Totally amateur. If you'd asked me to help you, I'd... Oh, come on, come on, come eh? on, come on. Focus, okay? What happened after I left? Uh, sorry, brr. Let me see. Let me think. Uh, yeah, that's right. So I worked a little bit longer on the house, and then I felt tired. So I went, uh, home to sleep. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but you didn't see anybody else? Not a soul. You're lying to us! Ah, Bramble, you easy there. Me. I'm telling the truth! Calm Don't down, I... Bramble. Wait, wait, I remember something. Then Ooh. tell us. I remember when I was about to sleep, I heard somebody digging in the ground again. I was quite sleepy at that point, so I wasn't sure if it was Briar or someone else. How is this a good clue? Can't you tell us anything else? Hey, hey, I'm getting there. Just hold your horses. Even though I didn't see anything clearly, I smelled some kind of really strong fragrance. You're sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was disgusting. Some kind of fragrance? Only humans wear that stuff. Well, it's clear now. It has to be Longer Vic who took it. When we were at his house, I noticed something. There was a shovel covered in dirt. What's more, it looked like the same kind of dirt. I knew it. It was Longer Vic for sure. I bet he hid the jar. Okay, let's go pay him a visit. Yeah, time to get our honey back. Yeah, good luck. Longer Vic, open up. Huh? <laughs> hey, you two bears, sup? I haven't done anything wrong. <coughs> In fact, I haven't been logging or stealing or doing anything of that nature. Uh -huh. You're lying to us. Come here and look. I didn't know you could draw. Hey, cool, man. Focus, Vic. Have you ever seen this honey jar before? Uh, well, oh uh, no, I haven't seen anything at all. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I saw it last night. <laughs> Goodbye, precious jar. Hope this works. Precious jar? Yes. <laughs> I found it. Come to Papa. Uh, what's this? How's it precious? I'm not sure. It's, well, pretty ugly. Absolutely worth nothing to me. Waste of time. Back to work again. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You didn't take the jar? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. My honor as a logger, I did not take that jar of yours. Besides, what would I do with a jar like that? Worthless. And you know me, I like the good things in life. Okay, I guess it wasn't him. Then who could it be? I am hearing that Logger Vic isn't the one that be stealing your precious jar. Then who took it? Hold on, I'm thinking here. Let's look at it again. Maybe there are some more clues. Huh? Look, these are some interesting footprints. Hmm. Even though I didn't see anything clearly, I smelled some kind of really strong fragrance. You sure? Some kind of fragrance? Only humans wear that stuff. Well, it's clear now. It had to be Logger Vic who took it. I figured out who did it. Uh, the thief is one of us. Just telling us, Briar. Kings like me cannot waiting all day. Hmm. If you must know, it's you. Huh? What? Who? It was not me. No way. It was you. How could it be me? I am the king. A king does not steal anything. Yeah, he's right. Tiki definitely wouldn't do something like that. Briar, maybe you made a mistake. Huh? You really want to see my proof? Come on, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Herbert, come sniff it. Is this the same fragrance you smelled? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells disgusting. Herbert did watching your words now. Do you think your king smells bad? Eh? You be telling me? Well, <laughs> ah, it was him. It was him. That's it. The case has been solved. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> Just a funny. This smell cannot prove anything. How do you know? My scent is used by almost every animal in the forest. Uh -huh. <laughs> you said what it. about the footprints? Logger Vic left shoe prints. But you don't wear shoes. So the other footprints have to be yours. <laughs> We're being approving. My footprints no meaning are taking. Fine. I'll show you how I proved it. <gasps> oh, aren't those honeybees? <laughs> Watch this. Ta-da! <gasps> okay. <laughs> I admitting the thief was me. Oh, my dear. I know it's bad. I'm such a baddie. Please forgive me. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing. That's my belly. He's my hero. Huh? Wait. It was supposed to be Detective Bravo. <laughs> Detective Bravo was supposed to solve the case. In the forest, there's only one thing I love more than anything. It's so irresistible It's all that I need Oh, the apples, berries, pears, bananas, or plums Just can't compare No, I'm a bear So I need that wonderful glaze inside me Oh, I can just taste that sticky taste of honey Warm in the grizzly heart within me Nothing else in this whole world could quite compare And I would eat you at every meal and snack time Honey, oh, won't you please just be mine? You think that I'm out of my mind? I just And chase me right out of my room Sunshine beams through the leaves and branches And the pines stand tall and proud Dandelions dazzle and the nectar flows And tiny forest craters shout out loud The grass is green, the sky is blue The brook is bowing, friend and so are you We'll see that day for endless play A fool for the cool. <laughs> Due to deforestation, our environment is becoming worse and worse. Temperatures are the highest they've been in 100 years. Places that are usually cool have now become too hot. Uh, you have no idea. The temperature here is unbearable. So hot. Huh? When I have enough, I'm gonna buy a... Oh, the thought of it. Air conditioner. Ugh, I hate this hot weather. It's so uncomfortable. I wish I could shave all my fur off. 
I bet that'd be real comfortable look. Yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, what will you do in winter without your fur? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can't stand the heat, try jumping in the river. Huh? Even the water is too hot. It's like swimming in a stew. Besides, bro, it's too dangerous. Huh, right you are. There may be seasonal flooding. So make sure you're careful out there. I'm gonna go try to cool off in the forest. Whew. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> I got paid! Show me the money! <laughs> I have enough to get an air conditioner. Oh yeah! <laughs> A dream come true. Look at the money. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> I'm gonna need all of you. <laughs> oh, that saving finally paid off. Sweet ass, my dreams have finally come true. Oh, yeah. Fresh, cool breeze. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah? Vic here. Why are you disturbing me? Are you kidding me, Vic? How you doing, boss Lee? <laughs> Not so good! Where's this month's timber? Well, I'll tell you, boss. It's extraordinarily hot. I can't get any work done. Can I deliver in a few days? Okay! Huh? As long as you know you're not gonna get paid for a few days! <laughs> Such a bully. It's bad enough that it's hot, but I have to work in it. Uh, one day soon, I'll give you a piece of my... Uh, uh. Uh, uh, this is all the money I have left in the entire world. I'd better keep it with me for safekeeping. Just my luck. I never noticed this creek here before. <laughs> it feels great. <laughs> hot. It's so hot. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> this is Vic's wallet. <laughs> that guy, good luck ever finding this thing again. Wait, if I return this wallet to Vic, maybe he'll give me some eyes. <laughs> Hello, Vic! It's Bramble! I found your wallet! Hey, I'm coming in, Vic! I really hope you're decent! Anybody home? Huh? Whoa! This room is cool! <laughs> huh? Whoa! <laughs> ah, cool air! Cool air! <laughs> cool air! Yeah! Hmm. Uh, 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 where's my wallet? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, where did my wallet go? I can't find uh -huh. it anywhere. Uh, oh I no, fix that! You can't find me ago. here. I gotta hide. This is where trespassing. I'll go to jail. <laughs> uh, that's all the money I have in the world. What am I gonna do? Uh, uh, How am I gonna get out of this one? Oh. <laughs> Huh? This is very strange. Bramble should have been home a long he time ago. He was being captured huh? by that logger Vicky. Hey, hmm? Then we have to rescue yeah. him. All right, I need someone to check out Vic's cabin, okay? Huh? Huh? I'm sneaky. I'll go, I'll go. Great. Be careful. Don't let Vic spot you. Wow. It feels... Mystical like winter! <sighs> Warren's been gone a while. Babu, hmm? there's huh? a report. Yes, sir, sir! Tiki, go help him out. No, you be going. Go. You little. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll go. 
What be taking them so long? -y? Oh, this place so cold. A temperature fit for a king. I think my place should feel like this place. <laughs> I'm gonna starve. Why? What am I gonna do? It's the worst thing ever. Well, Babu. I'll punish him later. Where's the warden? Uh, <laughs> what about Bramble? He's still missing. Huh? Oh. Help me find him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, it's not in the forest. Not in my house. I wonder where it could be. Uh, ooh. Uh, say what? Why is my pot there? Huh? Huh? Briar! Scram! Hide, brother, hide! <laughs> Tiki, huh? you're here too? But we all be here. What? Quick, huh? hide. Victor is coming this way. <laughs> it certainly feels odd. It's like someone is watching. Mm -hmm. uh. that is now broken. <laughs> Those darned animals. This is just super air conditioning. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> oh, so magical. The animals must have repaired it. They're not so bad. Maybe I should invite them into my house one day. Come on, bro. It's my turn huh? now. <laughs> hey, back off. <laughs> I fixed the air, so I get to hold it longer. It's my turn. Are you not done yet? As your king, I am announcing that it is time for me to have the full air. Thank you very much. Turn now. In the forest, there's only one thing I love. More than anything, it's so irresistible. It's all that I need. Oh, the apples, berries, pears, bananas, or plums just can't compare. No, I'm a bear. So I need that wonderful glaze inside me. Oh, I can just taste that sticky taste of honey Warm in the grizzly heart within me Not 
Nothing else in this whole world could quite compare And I would eat you at every meal and snack time Honey, oh won't you please just be mine You think that I'm out of my mind I just don't care Legend of the Ginseng Fairy, Part 1 Just five minutes left on the clock. However, neither the bear team or the tiger team have yet to score a single goal. <laughs> Player number four goes for an overhead kick. Oh, yeah, goal! number four. Yeah, yeah! Come on! What? <laughs> oh. 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 Drat them out. That's my last bag of cookies. Huh. Huh? Yeah, what? Water fish! Why are you still at home? Shouldn't you be out working? <laughs> I was just walking out the door. You better be! <laughs> By the way, if you don't get me two truckloads of timber by next week, you can kiss your salary goodbye! That's Stingy Boss Lee. How can he expect me to work on such a hot day? <sighs> oh boy, poor me. It's a million degrees outside. Probably should get to it then. Oh, not fair. In today's top news, uh? the legend of ginseng fairy is spreading over Pine Tree Mountain. Some local residents say they saw the fairy with their own eyes. It's said that the fairy transformed oh, from a 10,000-year-old ah. ginseng leaf. She always ah. helps those who are most Man, in need. Man, if I could find that ginseng fairy, oh boy. I'd never log again. But then, again, the ginseng, oh, ginseng fairy, fairy. Is a legend. No one knows whether she still exists or if she ever really did at all. Ginseng fairy, come out, come out, wherever you are. Yo, ginseng fairy. Huh? <laughs> she wouldn't come out. She's a fairy, not a human. I bet she's hiding somewhere very tricky. Ginseng fairy. Huh? Oh, ginseng fairy, come out, come out, wherever you are. Where are ya? Hey, I'll ramble. Someone fell off that slope. Huh? Let's go check it out. Look, it's Logger Vic. Kinsing fairy. Logger Vic, were you cutting down trees? Is that why you fell? Mm-hmm. No way. I was looking for the ginseng fairy. If I could just find that fairy, no work anymore. Just relaxing poolside. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? Uh, so lazy. Mm. He thinks he can get rich without working? Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. I think we should teach him a lesson in hard work. <clears throat> hey Vic, oh? about that legend of the ginseng fairy. I remember... Really? A long, long time ago, 
In a forest far away lived a beautiful fairy. Legend has it. Once there was a beggar. His name was, uh, Bald Man Strong. Please, See, uh, he was bald, Starving just like you. <clears throat> Though his name was I, Strong, uh, he was actually please, quite weak. Sir, he had no money, but dreamed of being rich. Ah! Oh, please help. My legs are broken. Here, take this. Thank you muchly much. I am an invalid, uh, unable to go. work. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you're so kind. Ah. <laughs> roasted chicken, get your roasted chicken, freshly baked roasted chicken. Hello, sir, you look like you could use a Give bite. Give me everything. Huh? I'm loaded. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> People say they saw a beautiful gypsy one. fairy up uh, on the mountain. Uh, she was walking around and everything. Uh, Whoa! Must be 10,000 year old magical ginseng. If someone got a berry from the top of her head, they'd be guaranteed happiness for life. A magical fairy? If I can find the fairy, ah, oh, yeah, I'll be rich! And so, Bald Man Strong went to find the fairy. Ginseng fairy, come on out. Strong continued to search, but to no avail. Then one day, he came up with a plan. Oh, why can't I find that darn fairy? Uh, this is frustrating. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh. Maybe the kind-hearted ginseng fairy would come help me if I were in danger or injured. <laughs> In order to lure the fairy to him, Bald Man Strong pretends to be poison. Uh, he even prepares ropes to catch her with. I always knew us baldies were smarter. Uh, uh. <laughs> Nobody around. Ah, help me! Ah, I feel awful, like I've been poisoned or something. I feel sick. Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> Come out now, my fairy. Morning. Already. The wild animals will eat me. Oh dear. Oh, help me. Oh, I don't want to be chopped silly. Hey, cool man. I am the ginseng fairy. I'm here to help you. You're too kind. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You see? Baldi's plan actually worked, and with the ginseng fairy, he could change his fate. Strong bald man sure is worthy, but I also belong to the bald man fraternity. How come I don't have the same luck as he mm. does? Is the ginseng fairy in danger? <laughs> easy, easy. We'll see. There's more. They headed back into town. Once I get that red berry, I'll buy a house tomorrow, and then a carriage. Then everyone will see that I am rich. <laughs> Your ancestors are so greedy, always using tricks. It isn't trickery, it's wisdom. It's tricks. Wow. It's tricks. <laughs> tricks. Remember, fighting doesn't solve anything. <clears throat> hey, you two, cut it out. <sighs> the ginseng fairy knew Bald Man's plan all along. <laughs> so when he was distracted, she <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> ginseng fairy? Ginseng fairy. Not here. <sighs> and not here. Oh, where could she be? Oh, ginseng fairy! Where's she gone? Oh dear. Oh, did she discover my plan? Oh, that's it then. Well, I didn't get nothing. Bald man strong. Alrighty, you're mine. You can never catch me. <laughs> you're making a mistake. Oh, that really hurts. Allowing you to escape would be a mistake. Well, so be it. And so. Bald Man Strong chased the ginseng fairy for three whole days. Uh, the ginseng yeah. fairy can run for months like that? Yes! The ginseng fairy is magical. She doesn't get tired like you or me. Nope. Bald Man Strong never stood a chance. And so at last. Greedy man, why do you still chase me? Oh, help me! I am an orphan. I never had a chance to go to school. And I've always been a panhandler. Oh, fairy. I am worthless in the eyes of the wider community. Please help me if I just had a little money. Did the fairy help him out? Did Baldy get the money? Of course the kind fairy would help Bald Man Strong. The fairy plucked one of the red berries from her head and turned it into gold. I'm just glad the fairy didn't get caught by Bald Man Strong, <laughs> you know? That's unfair! Yeah. 
All he gets is one gold bar, huh? Just wait, mm -hmm. the story isn't finished. The next day, a newly rich bald man strong made a pig of himself with the gold he had got. He ordered all the expensive dishes. Those expensive dishes you have? I have loads of money. Oh yes, of course, only the finest, good sir. Whoa. What a feast! Oh yeah! All right! <laughs> After the big meal, Bald Man Strong took out the gold to pay for the feast. I can pay. Pure gold. Whoa! What's your so look at that? Is that real? <laughs> 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 hey, what's happening to what's him? Wrong, huh? What's going on? But suddenly, the gold turned into a small pile of seeds. No way! Not very gold-like, is it, Kidsing Fairy? <laughs> After Bald Man Strong was disgraced, he was kicked out of the tavern. Oh, how come my gold turned into seeds? Uh, it seems uh, old habits die hard. You cannot reap without sowing first. Uh, only hard work and knowledge can change your fate. You know what to do with those seeds. Late yeah. will only make you weak in the end, so be sweet. After those inspirational words, don't go. the ginseng oh, fairy, fairy slowly uh -huh. vanished. Uh -oh. Oh. Wow! It seems the ginseng fairy actually does have power. I bet the legend is true. Now to find her! Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> Bro, look at that. I don't think Vic's learning from your story. Hmm, well, I guess not. Well, maybe he needs to hear another story then. Mm-hmm. Ahem. Oh, hey, Vic, about that ginseng fairy. I heard a different version of the story. Ah, oh, super. So, I'm dying to hear it. Okay. The more stories I hear, the more information I'll have when it comes time to capture the ginseng fairy. In the forest there's only one thing I love More than anything It's so irresistible It's all that I need Oh, the apples, berries, pears, bananas or plums Just can't compare No, I'm a bear So I need that wonderful glaze inside me Oh, I can just taste that sticky taste of honey Warm in the grizzly heart within me Nothing else in this whole world could quite compare And I would eat you at every meal and snack time Honey, oh, won't you please just be
Legend of the Ginseng Fairy, Part 2. Once upon a time, there was a poor little boy. He had a miserable life. He was bald and scrawny. Sounds just like me when I was Don't a interrupt, kid. Vic. Uh, I wish I was at school. Instead, I'm chopping down trees alone. Mr. Lee's so mean. Poor little boy. What a miserable life. <laughs> if I were him, I'd just take off and leave. Then how would he survive with no job? You bears are free to do what you want, but we humans have to work. <laughs> As I was saying, the little boy yearned to be free, so he made himself a plan. And then... Uh... Master, look, what's that? That's the boy's bag. He couldn't have run far. Go find him! Yes, sir! What? He ran right off the edge! Let's go! Yes, yes master! master. Oh, my leg! Who are you? Don't be afraid, boy. Ow! That's it? Is the boy okay or what? It's not over yet. The next day, the little boy woke up. Huh? Hmm? Huh? What's this? Uh, huh? 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 How did I get up here? Huh? Oh, my leg doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah! I'm still alive! Yeah! <laughs> I wonder what happened to me. Yeah. I better get going now. Huh? 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 I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of this before? Um, yum, yum. Um, yum, yum, yum. Um, yum, yum. Huh? Mr. Lee! How come you don't have a scratch on you? I saw you fall down that slope. You better tell me the truth. Well? Well, I had a dream, and I saw a fairy. She came out of nowhere and helped me. Then I fell asleep. You say a fairy, huh? I've heard of stories about a ginseng fairy who helped wounded people in the woods. Maybe. Maybe if you can take me to this fairy, I will give you lots of food, and you won't have to work anymore. How about that, huh? What do you say? No way! I won't betray the fairy! Then you've made your choice! You'll be locked in here until you tell me where that fairy is! Uh, let me out! Please let me out! Please! Let me out! Huh? Huh? Hey, you're the fairy! What's going on in there? Fairy, you better get out of here! They'll catch you! 
Oh, I see. Don't worry. Huh? Why are we here? Well, we're far from your captors. You're free. Really? Oh, thank you, Fairy. It's my pleasure. Here, take this. Oh, uh, whoa! Hey, Fairy! Huh? Fairy? Dear boy, you can go to school now with this ruby. I hope that you study hard and become a wise, kind-hearted man. Remember, you can control your destiny. Fairy? I'll do as you wish and study hard! The ginseng fairy is such a great and wise woman. It's so sweet. Lagervik, you can't seriously uh, still uh. be thinking of catching her. Oh, thank you! Your stories what? have inspired me! Well... Prior. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have told him anything. He still doesn't get it, does he? Come on, let's go check on him. Okay. Oh, she ain't here either. When I finally find that fairy, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> I won't need to work for that stingy boss of mine anymore. Ginseng fairy, where are you? I'm gonna find that fairy. Ginseng fairy, ginseng fairy. Where are you, Ginseng Fairy? Bro, we gotta think of something. He's gonna destroy the whole forest. Well, now he's got fairy tales rolling around in his head. There's nothing we can do. I hoped he would learn something, but that didn't exactly work out. Did it, bro? Uh, oh. If only the Ginseng Fairy were here to help us now. Don't be silly. The Ginseng Fairy isn't real. Huh? Huh? That's it! Bramble, you're a genius! I am? Why do you say that? Here's what we'll do. <sighs> I am exhausted. I've been digging all day long. And nothing. Huh? Maybe they were fooling. Hello, Hello Vic. Vic! We are, are the Junsing Sisters! <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Do you think he recognizes us? No, I don't think so, bro. Yeah. I finally found you! Ooh. Great ginseng fairy, please can you help me? I have a bad life, I'm very poor. And my boss is such a stingy man. If you could give me some gold or rubies, I'd be so grateful. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't know. know. Uh, Logger Vic, we don't have any gold or rubies here. What? Uh, let me see here. Do you have some thousand-year-old ginseng or something like that, maybe? Yes! We could give you some valuables, but you have to help us first! Uh-huh. Well, uh, I didn't know fairies bargain. As long as you stop cutting down trees and burning the forest, we have a deal! That's fair, okay, uh-huh. I'm never gonna have to cut down trees again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll give you a thousand-year-old ginseng! <laughs> now remember! You keep your end of the deal. Oh, this doesn't look like ginseng to me. Uh, <laughs> of course it's ginseng. It all looks like that. Right, Bramble? Uh, uh huh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got your ginseng. We better be going. Hold on. <laughs> Why is that ginseng fairy called Bramble? This could be a trick. Won't you come in? I've got eyes, honey inside. Oh, sure, oh yeah! <laughs> honey is my favorite! <sighs> oh wait, I'm a fairy now. I guess the ginseng fairy doesn't eat honey. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay, get out of here! You oh, run for terrible. it, Bramble! Uh, uh, bro, wait for me! Stop! <laughs> How dare you lie to me! You're so mean! We didn't lie to you! The stories are true! Then where is she? Tell me how to find her! <laughs> the ginseng fairy is not real! I should have known all along, you liar! But the legend exists! Yeah? Who's calling me in the middle of the night? Let it be me! Where's my ginseng? Ginseng? I haven't got any ginseng! Uh, hey boss? Yes, Victor, I'm here. 
and you're uh, there, and uh, you're fired! Wait, Busley, not again. In the forest there's only one thing I love More than anything It's so irresistible It's all that I need Oh, the apples, berries, pears, bananas, or plums Just can't compare No, I'm a bear So I need that wonderful glaze inside me Oh, I can just taste that sticky taste of honey Warm in the grizzly heart within me Nothing else in this whole world could quite compare And I would eat you at every meal and snack time Honey, oh, won't you please 